right, what's going on guys? Pebbles back again coming into the showcase on the brand new Orihime. Yeah, I couldn't get one at 1 out of 5, but at least we found one that was 5 out of 5, so you know, much easier to find. <laughs> uh, shout out to my boy Swig for letting me do this showcase, and he already... Yeah, he, he went kind of deep, I'm not gonna lie. I think he saw Orihime and Retsune was just like, alright, full send. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, right, well life. So let's just get right into it. Orihime, I do actually really like the design on this character. I think she's actually really dope. Do I think she's the strongest character? Absolutely not. But I do think that when you when you see a character that you actually enjoy playing with and you want to have fun with them, by all means, go do your thing, right? So we do have Quincy Killer on this character, which can be really, really hit or miss. Uh, Caleb has been trying to toss in more content with Quincy, so I don't see this being as bad as it used to be. But I still think that this... Uh, Quincy Killer is still very underutilized uh, from where it could be. That also being said, Estazier Blood War is literally coming out in the next like two weeks. Feel free to join the Discord, link will be in the description down below. I I do see this Quincy Killer being a lot more useful. So we'll see that we'll see how that pro prog progresses later on um this year uh going into 2023 but we'll see how that goes she also is the first character for mind to get damage inflicted at full stam 30 percent the other 30 percent full stam link i believe is renji for tech i don't think there's another one but i could be wrong and what's cool about this character she also has damage inflicted at full stam 20 percent built into her character like before links right because what, what are we rocking here for links 32 uh 50 yeah 52% in links like we we naturally have 30% from the link 20% from the actual innate skill and then she also gets an, an another 25% full stamina damage boost from just just the the, the stacking dude like this is a combined total of 75% full stamina damage boost built into the character without links right because like we have a hundred seven percent full stamina damage boost and then we have another 20 percent over here one thing that i am not familiar with is how this stacks so we're gonna see how this works um because i don't know many characters that have damage inflicted at full stam with innate skills with the link with the, it, it's weird so we'll see if this goes to uh 127 percent when we start the run or if it gets full stamina damage boost twice because if if it goes full stamina damage boost twice that means that this might actually stack even crazier we'll, we'll see but she also has a berserker of 60 percent frenzy plus one guard break and hit hidden enemies i actually really like this character a lot she also has healer <laughs> and she also has strong attack recharge built into the character so we are getting quite a bit of strong attack recharge on her and yeah let's just let's see what this character can do now keep in mind we are using a Senkaizen link instead of another sar 14 link um it should be fine personally i would like to run her with as much strong attack recharge as possible for her innate skill she also has retsu's full stamina only reduced strong attack cooldown six percent like baragon unfortunately the red baragon she doesn't get havoc 20 percent since she was a mid-month unit but she's a premium character so i do think that it's pretty dope to see um these premium characters getting these very very strong skills right like guard break and hit hidden enemies um the full stamina only reduced strong attack cooldown damage inflicted at full stam 50 percent along with berserker 60 percent like i really really like that i think it's really dope um so let's actually do this we'll, we'll do the times five run why not let's do full boost arenios and see how this goes now she doesn't have any status elements so this run might not go as smoothly as i'd like but um either way i just want to do it for the sake of doing it and yeah so let's just check it out first strong attack gonna be the same as azashiro's able to pretty much one shot that's actually really good uh, let's see if we got a bad yeah yeah it looks like we just had a bad hit that first time around 2500 length beam for the second strong attack and then retsu's third strong attack boom boom aoe a bit of a delay when it comes out i'm noticing but i think that's fine because it is a heal attack too heals tend to be a little uh i don't want to say laggy but they do tend to take a little bit to come out for a strong attack I definitely want to be careful with um, that Yakuza enemy that looks like, um... Oh, I don't even know what he looks like, bro. He got he looked like he have a cheap suit on, but it's definitely nicer than the other people. I'm not able to finish him off. I do like these enemies overall. Uh, even though I do complain about them being difficult, I actually think they're really healthy for the game. I just think they're really annoying. Well, I can think something's annoying while being good for the game, right? Just look at, um... 
when alcohol burns your cuts whenever you're like trying to clean your cut, right? That's just telling me that it's working. <laughs> Alright, let me do this because they're actually coming for me. I do like this guy. Like his lunge is really, really cool to me. I'm really scared of the- I I'm walking because I'm scared to walk into the dude that activates his strong attacks like immediately. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like, he already started his animation like... Oh, snap! Oh! Dab on him a little? 2500 length beam. I've always loved the human roles. I'm not gonna lie, we're not having any trouble. I mean, to be fair, we're also max transcended. <laughs> I love that they put that in a special move. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, or the Orihime fake out um, voice line, right? Uh, it's been so long since I've heard that, since I'm too busy getting all these four star multis. <laughs> oh man, I did five steps on the CN banner and I literally pulled literally two five stars. It was horrible. Fortunately, one of them was CN. If it wasn't CN, I literally would be crying. But I was so ashamed of summoning on the banner to begin with that I didn't even bother recording. Like, <laughs> true shame. <laughs> Alright, let's check her out. Now, she doesn't get her strong attacks back as fast, mainly because we are rocking that, um... Oh, let's check out. Yeah, so okay, so it does fully stack to 127%. That's something that I missed the first time around. So we're rocking, what is it? 12 plus 28. Uh, so 40 plus an additional 7. No, 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 plus an additional 6. So 50, wait, 46% strong attack cooldown, and that's with the Senkaizen link. That's actually pretty good. 30% magnification for strong attack. Personally, I don't really like it anywhere near as much as the 40% magnification because it doesn't push the enemy back as much as you would like So that means you honestly don't really get as many hits You can charge the third strong attack 62,000 is pretty good damage Yo 15k with the Oh, that's right. You do 127% full stamina damage use, right? That means that our nads are our nad hits are hitting by that much too. Kotetsu. Didn't charge it up, but I didn't want to get hit. Good spread. Now we're dealing 66,000 damage outright, so I want to do 66,000 damage. This is with our charge, third strong attack, times 1.6. This uh, attack also has, I believe, I want to say 8 hits. That's like standard with Frenzy. Yeah, it's 8 hits, so multiply this by 8. 844k is pretty damn good damage for a third strong attack. Now, remember, full stamina damage boost 75% built into the character without links. And then on top of that, you also get Berserker 60%. She doesn't have any status ailments, so you do. I will knock her a little bit for that. Like, keep that in mind. And then her uh, second strong attack was hitting for roughly, I want to say, 33,000 damage. Something along the lines of that. Um, that hits approximately six times, so 198k. Ah, that doesn't sound about right. Let me actually... 36... Oh, we already... Oops. <laughs> 36k. Okay, that's the... Yeah, there you go. So 36,000 times 1.6 for killer times the six. There you go. 345,000 with the second strong attack. Keep in mind that this uh, damage, the 844k, is a fully charged third strong attack. So normally that's going to be halved, and that means that this normally hits for 422,000 if you don't charge it. Which, to be honest, the fact that it's an AoE distant uh, third strong attack, I do kind of like it a little bit more than a standard um, full screen third strong attack just because you can actually aim it into a specific location without having to put yourself, in my opinion, in harm's way, which I think is probably the most important. The first strong attack it does have range collision, which means that it's going to push the enemy back. Boom, boom. So 22k there. 
but it does have some pretty good range. I want to test how far this thing actually goes. Hmm. We didn't hit them, right? Yeah, we didn't hit them from there. That should hit. Okay, that's good. Should hit all. You also have the revive mechanic on our special. Boom, boom. 144,000 on that. Okay, so let's just have her auto in the meantime. So let's uh, pull up the calculator. 144,000 times four. Pretty standard. Nothing really like fluffy here. Just overall, just decent, good damage from all the full stamina damage boost. Normally, we wouldn't have this much damage boost if you want to run full strong attack recharge. Or you might, because if you use a full stamina boost Chad, for example, we're going to be getting an extra 5% full stamina damage boost. Not 5% more damage to this, but full stamina damage boost as a whole. So you could potentially get more damage than you would with the normal Senkaisen Link. Just keep in mind that this is special move damage. This is not with uh, weakened defense, which we could replace the stamina recovery with weakened defense. And then this character could go even crazier. But for the most part, I think that this character is just fine as is. For a premium pool character that was released, I think that she, I think she holds her own. Do I think she's like top five, like mind characters in the game? Honestly, I feel like she might have the utility for it, but I don't think she's quite there. Um, I don't think she's quite there yet. I do expect some crazy Thousand Year Blood War characters to be coming out later on this year, though. So we'll see exactly what what gets the. OP mind unit treatment to try to like overthrow 7th anniversary Ichigo, right? But overall, I do actually like this character a lot. I love her design. I like this banner just in general. Would I recommend summoning on it? Definitely not. Would I recommend doing 25 to 30 steps like my boy Swig did? Probably not. But he had the spare orbs. He likes Orihime. He likes Retsu. He likes Nell. Um, if he wants to go, if he, he likes Nemu, excuse me. If he wants to go in, he goes in. And I mean, it is what it is. But I'm going to leave it at that. Grind will catch up him. Stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Newbie on Joe. This video. Have a great day. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.